Are we on? Well, happy Monday, everyone. This is Dave Hall. Glad to be here. We're going to be talking about seller size tonight. I'm going to be sharing with you some customer reviews. We're going to answer some questions. I'm going to share some different movements that have been requested. And then we're going to talk a little bit about why I call the seller size family the seller size family. And that's a near and dear story to me. I do the best I can to help people that I can. I've spent a lot of time with, uh, with people on the phone. We've counseled together. Um, I've tried to give words of encouragement. Uh, there's been times where we've had prayer sessions, where we shed tears together, um, where we've really helped to buoy everybody up, each other up, because that's what we are. That's what a family does. But I'm not infallible, and there's times where I can say or do something that can be offensive. And I want to let those know who I may have offended, um, that I apologize for that. Uh, my desire is only to help and to do the best that I can. If I do make a mistake or if I do do something that might be offensive, I'll do what I can to, uh, to take care of it. But when I say solar size family, I really mean that. There's, uh, we're all going through this, this world together and we're, we're a family. And I see it that way. And I'm grateful for the support I receive. I'm grateful for the, the encouragement from each of you as well. And I want us to enjoy the journey every day that we're on the Cellular Sizer. It's a success. That movement up and down affects blood chemistry, circulation, uh, balance, equilibrium. We challenge the body on a day to day basis. And the people that have been Cellular Sizing for uh, a lengthy period of time know exactly what I'm talking about. It does seem to turn back the hands of time. And there are issues that we can deal with and we work with. And there's many different approaches that we can take on the solar sizer. So thank you all for your support. Thank you for sharing the solar size with those you care about. And thank you for making a difference. So let's get started. And, and, and the first one I'm going to read, what an honor for me to be able to work with real doctors or doctors who have spent the time investing years of, of their lives to learn about the body and, and how to work with the body. Now there's basically to me, there are the doctors that recognize the value of, of what we can do to help the body perform naturally as much as possible. And there's those that have been encouraged to, to treat the symptoms of illness with shot drugs and, and pills. I'm not here to make a judgment. What I am here to do is to let you know how much I appreciate those doctors who holistically look at ways that they can work with the body to help the body do what it best knows how to do. And there's more and more and more of those doctors that are coming on board. And I'm having a chance to talk with them on a regular basis. And I'm very grateful. But this is, this is a Dr. Dr. Tom. We'll call him Dr. Tom. Dave, I am an emergency room physician. I'm 65 years old. I purchased a cellar sizer at the urging of my daughter, Anne, who, hi Anna, who highly rec admires you. <laughs> and more recently purchased your Mr. Rebounder app. A week ago, I fell seven feet and fractured my left pelvis, lateral compression pelvis fracture type one, avulsed my greater trochant trochanter and fractured my sacrum, also my triquatrum carpal fracture. And that's in the wrist area, but I hope I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> I also incurred a moderate concussion. I love my cellar sizer, and like Anna, I highly admire you and your team. You play a vital part in my recovery. I shall keep you in the loop. If at the end you wish to use my story in progress for advertising or promo promotional, or I hope inspirational and encouragement purposes, you may. Talk soon. Tom. Yes. Oh. That way. Okay. Thanks, Brooklyn. We've got Brooklyn helping behind the scenes. We've got Christine helping behind the scenes. And I appreciate both of them. All right. And that was uh, my response to, to Tom. I'm, I'm grateful for the humility that 
that professionals can have in, in wanting to make a difference and wanting to support us. And um, again, thank you very much. Okay, I've been using a rebounder as my exercise regime since 2004 at the beginning of this pandemic. I was wanting to upgrade my previous rebounder thinking it would help the pain that had developed in my ankles because of delays in shipping, etc. My order from Bellicon had stalled and I had not sold my other rebounder, another Bellicon, in hopes of not losing any time from my rebounding. We've read this one before um, and I love it. And she went on to get a seller sizer and she... Um, she says she was sold, she canceled her order with the others, got the new rebounder, the bounce, the approach, the various exercises, and the results. What a difference in everything, exclamation point. Thanks, Dave, for all of you are and all that you do, and for everyone. Claire writes, bounced on a rebounder on and off for 20 years, then got to late 50s and was wondering how I was going to continue working in a physical job. Looked up how to get fit in 10 minutes on the internet and found David Hall. I thought if I'm going to buy a really good rebound, I'm going to do the research while I save. So eight months later, after extensive research, came to the conclusion seller size is definitely the best and I'm so happy with it. Also bought one for my daughter and her family. Thank you, David Hall. And thank you, Claire. Diane writes, looking for something to move the lymph? I saw your video. It was sold immediately. I read those. And Maria writes, I heard about rebounding and Google to get more info. Dave's videos came out and came up and I watched most of them. I did buy a cheaper one. I needed to save up for the seller sizer. During COVID, we received our stimulus. We received $500 for our 15 year old daughter. Thankfully, my husband is still working through this pandemic. So we told her that she could use the money however she wished. She came to me and told me that she had been praying and wants to buy a rebounder for me, for my whole family to use it. I really hesitated as it was a lot of money, but she was so sure of it that I had to buy it. I am so glad I did. Three exclamation points. We all love it. And yes, all capitalized. What a difference between a cheaper brand and the seller sizer. And again, thank you, Maria. And thank your daughter. She's a, she's, she's a leader and that's, that's great. Good to have her on board. Stephanie writes, we were in Hawaii and sought out buying a rebounder by searching on YouTube. Our dad and grandma used them as we were kids. There was a video comparing all rebounders and this one had better things to say about the seller sizer over the other units, so we ordered two. This was January 2016. Jerry was super friendly. We fell in love with the DVDs and the whole concept immediately. It took us one and a half years to work out all the kinks in our minds, mental blocks, and our bodies, physical blocks, and finally became consistent in mid-2017. We've never looked back. And that's the thing about seller size. That movement up and down, it's like a, an internal scrub brush. It moves fluid up and down. It back flushes valves. It increases oxygen blood flow through capillaries to all different parts of the body, challenges equilibrium and balance, and that's just the beginning. So, thank you for sharing it. My husband researched and bought us a seller sizer a few years ago. I did it inconsistently for a while, but now I hardly ever miss a day. When I had to go stay with my daughter for an extended period of time, my husband bought me the travel seller sizer. My daughter now has come, has one too, and she's enjoying it. Okay, and we read that. All right. So excited I got my seller sizer today. I've been using another brand rebounder for three years now and decided my body needed the top of the line. I just turned 72 and have wanted to purchase your product since I first started rebounding. I immediately felt the difference the second that I started bouncing on it today. I have spinal stenosis in L5 and L4, not to mention a few bulging discs. And it was you and an article from a doctor that you sent me over two years ago that encouraged me after the doctors were against it, to get on my rebounder and do a light bounce. Well, I did, and after three minutes, the pain that I had for two weeks started to subside. Now that I have the cellular sizer, I am positive my body will get a lot stronger to support my spine. I look forward to feeling stronger and looking great. Thank you so much. You are my rebounding guru. I have talked many of my senior clients into purchasing rebounders, 
And now that I have yours, I can sell them on purchasing a solar sizer. If you ever need a senior spokesperson out here in San Francisco Bay Area, I would love to be a part of your team. Thank you and God bless. Linda, yes, we have openings and we have um, availability and we do a double win type program for anybody who wants to promote the solar sizer. And it talked about on our website at the very bottom, if you go to the affiliate section. And, and thank you. Okay. All right, we'll end with this one. And then I'm going to, to we'll, we'll answer some questions. And then um, I'll tell you a story. And I think that'll help you understand me a little bit more and what this company represents and what I want it to represent. Okay, these are some questions. A friend tore the ACL, LCL, MCL ligaments plus cartilage and meniscus around her knee. Her doctors feel that two ligaments have healed but recommend surgery for the third. Any thoughts on using the solar sizer to help this heal, possibly without surgery? She had had previous injuries on the same leg, an ankle injury about seven years ago, and cartilage damage in the knees about 20 years ago. Her doctor thinks she may be experiencing a loss of cartilage. Okay, this is not to be construed as medical advice. You know, you need to consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to give me a call. But I know about knees. I've worked a lot with doctors and a lot with individuals with regards to knees. And if there's any way that you can strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint, um, very often we don't need to have surgery. I'm told by doctors that I need to have surgery. And because they've looked at my knees and I've been pretty active and they, they see lesions in different areas of, of the, uh, the supporting ligaments in the horizontally, vertically, um, or in, in the meniscus. And, and the last time I tore it, it was really bad. So I wrapped it. I actually wrapped it. I went to Walmart and got one of those little knee wrap things. And I, I did m my normal routine on the cellar sizer. And when I began, I hit, I'd hurt both knees and a year after working on the cellar sizer, I know that I, you know, I can hear a click in there still sometimes, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't get in the way. The doctor said that I needed to have the surgery. I didn't. I believe the body has an incredible capacity if we work with it and we give it the time that it needs to be able to do the job it best knows how to do. And so I did these different movements that I teach for my knees and it built them up. And we've been able to do that with a great many people. And we've got many wonderful customer reviews and stories about it. But I have to say consult with your doctor or feel free to have your doctor. Feel free to give me a call as well. Can the solar sizer help with the carotid arteries that come up from the heart, um, help with plaque and make the flow better? I like to think so. Um, when we move up and down, like I mentioned, it's like a scrub brush. You're moving fluid and circulation up and down over and over as you're weightless weight, weightless weight. You're helping the heart move that circulation through the heart, the vessels and all the collateral vessels around the heart so that we maintain and improve in our circulation. Um, cellar size, Dr. Morton Walker wrote in uh, a list of 30 things in a book called Jumping for Health. And one of them was how it strengthens the heart and all the collateral muscles around the heart, how it helps to lower high blood pressure, how it helps to lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels, and, and a great many more um, benefits that he attributed to the cellular sizer. He was a great, great friend and, and a customer of mine until he passed away. But, and we lectured together at universities. He's a, he was a remarkable and prolific writer, um, but he, he appreciated the benefits of cellular size as well. So, Question from Brooklyn, does bouncing help with neuropathy? We've had one account I, of a gentleman who would do 20 minutes a day of cellular sizing, and he said it would help reduce the symptoms of neuropathy. I know if you wear socks, soft-soled slippers, um, it, can, it can help cushion the foot more. And as long as we maintain and build up good circulation, I think that we can arrest um, whether we can reverse it or slow it down or stop it. Uh, we don't have enough research on that yet. I'd like to think we can. And I, I think um, 
anytime you can improve circulation, reduce inflammation, promote the healing process. We don't know. We don't know. There is a there's a product that I've heard of you might want to look into. It's called Nerve Renew. N E R V E R E N E W. Nerve Renew. And I've heard about it and I've heard some great stories behind it. It's the nutritional support for for the actual uh, nerves. And as we move up and down on the cellular side, we know that the movement up and down helps cells absorb nutrients and, and work more more efficiently. And as that happens, we uh, we hope for the best. And I I just see so many benefits, and I have over the years that I, it, nothing would surprise me. Could you please talk about the issues that you had to overcome with your back? I remember hearing you actually grew taller. In my mind, that means you must have brought healing fluid to your discs. I have several disc degradation disease, severe disc degradation disease, and bought a cellulosizer to hopefully not only prevent my discs from degenerating further, but to actually repair them, even though doctors say that can't happen. Could you talk about back health and give specific exercises for the low back? Thank you, and I will tune in tonight. I love your lives. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yes, I remember when I first started um, bouncing up and down, we didn't have a cellar sizer, and I already had a week back, and I was I would try to bounce up and down on a cheap rebounder, and it would hurt my back and I would be rolling out of bed sideways because I couldn't just sit up. So I'd roll out of bed sideways and I'd get up and it would hurt. Which is part of what prompted that and what happened to my dad prompted me to, to uh, really promote and develop the cellulosizer. But the, um, the doctors, and I've worked with a lot of chiropractors since then, um, imbibing the disc or increasing circulation to the disc is something that by the time we're 19, 20 years old, it doesn't really happen naturally. We've got to do movements to get the circulation to the disc. And I've talked a little bit about this, and many of you have heard me talk about it. The discs are like a sponge. When a sponge doesn't get enough water, it dries out and it shrinks. And the disc can do the same thing. But when a sponge gets more water, it can start to expand again, just like a disc. It's called imbibition or imbibing the disc with synovial fluid. And most people don't do that, and, and many people don't even know how to do that. There are specific movements that I teach in the Cellular Size DVD that is designed to move the lymph system, um, which creates a, kind of a vacuum system of suction, move fluid through the body, and then do di different movements so that we can help pull that circulation back to the disc. One of the best ways when that, and one of the best routines that I've ever developed on the cellar sizer for the back is the one where you lie down on the cellar sizer. When you lay down on the cellar sizer and you put your feet up on a chair and a little pillow or sweater behind your head and then you gently have somebody gently bounce you up and down. It takes a vertical pressure off of the disc. So you're laying down horizontally. The movement up and down is deep, not just surface oriented. And so we're moving fluid and without threatening in the nerves and so the muscles can relax and we start to open up the space between the vertebral joints. We can do a rocking side to side so the hips gently roll and I demonstrate that on some of the previous YouTube um, programs. Wonderful, wonderful program. And in addition to that, there's some other movements. In fact, let me read the, the next two or the next one because both of these kind of go hand in hand and then I'll, I'll show you some, some additional techniques. But, Hi Dave, I've been struggling with a constant muscle tightness that runs from my oblique just under my rib cage and runs over the hip bone and sometimes the tightness wraps around my to my lower spine. When I rock side to side, it seems to loosen up in short term. And the rock side to side he's talking about is just this movement right here. Can you see all right? Thanks, honey. Okay. Um, but I can't seem to get it to stay loosened up probably because of the muscle memory wanting to stay tight. Any thoughts on moves that I can do besides the twist or rocking side to side? Or is it just good old consistency until I fix all my body weaknesses? I received the cellar sizer in March, and I'm so glad my sister so told me about you and convinced me to give this a try. It has been a complete blessing. My old dancer legs 
are on the way back. Thank you and God bless. You know, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, and that is, um, or last week, encouraging people to just try it. What was that, Ricky? Hmm? I can't hear you. Go ahead, speak up. I bumped the iPad. Oh, <laughs> all right. That's okay. Um, cancel. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we want to encourage people, give it a try. Experience what this is and what it can do for you. And I think once you experience it, you'll, you'll have a good understanding. The solar size is not your typical rebounder. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, you know, visit our website or ask some of our, our uh, support team on Facebook. But Okay, so the back. Laying down is a great one um, if your back's bothering it. Some other movements that I teach are the one where you take the elbow, kind of stick it up over your head, lean a little bit to the left, open up the vertebral joint, stretch that muscle. When you feel the stretch, hold the position, gently bounce, and that's the first step. Now, as we start to loosen this up, because remember, you were moving fluid. The tissue is gently expanding and contracting a lot. And so our, our job is to help open up that area of the body, take pressure off the nerves, and loosen up those muscles. So um, I've gr I'm grown to have a lot of respect for yoga and some of the movements that you are amazing. Yoga instructors, I've encouraged solar size first, then do the yoga, then solar size again afterwards, because that's also a great way to help open up the back and increase circulation. So the combination works really well. But just leaning this direction and then taking the right leg, for example, if you want to work the lower back on the right side, you take the right leg, you know, after every other bounce, it crosses in front. So it's one, two, three. And you can lean a little bit so you can feel if you have any tightness in the lower back, you will feel that, that gentle movement. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And that's a simple movement. Of course, the twisting is excellent. Um, the rocking side to side, that's a little more advanced. You don't want to do that initially because you want to irritate a nerve, not knowing how much space you have between the vertebral joints. So, again, if you have a condition, consult with your doctor Feel free to have the doctor give me a call. But those movements right there um, can be very helpful. I'm going to show you another one that a group of exercise movements that we are going to be adding to, uh, to the subtle size. So I don't know if you can see all these. are just a whole bunch of movements we're going to add. We're working on right now. I'm videotaping and we're going to be putting some, together some more modules for the Mr. Rebounder app and we'll include this one too. But it's um, by you can bend at your knees, grab the frame. Can we see all right? Grab the frame, hold on to the frame and then you just slowly start to stand up. And you, you get to where you're comfortable and bounce up and down. You can have the legs bent some, that's fine. You want to get to the point where, yeah, you can stretch all the way down and the movement up and down is working. If you take your leg and, and again, you can bend, take this leg, pull up the heel. As you gently bounce up and down, the movement up and down, you'll, you'll feel that. Um, and it's just, it's a good movement for that area. If you want, you can also take this, lean back. As you lean back, you can feel the lower back stretch. And that's, that's a great movement as well. Moving up and down like this is also going to be a great movement for the back. And then I always end up just doing the gentle twist. Great back movements. So, but go gentle, go easy. You don't have to, you don't have to work hard on the solar sizer. You play on it, it'll work hard on you. All right. Chemo left my hubby with some neuropathy issues. Changed his walking to a more heavy, stiff-footed gait. He's still active and works outside. He rebounds on our solar sizer every day with balance bar in place. Does 30 minutes of health bounce and a few additional 
moves, any suggestions. And again, um, other than the movement up and down for increased circulation, which is wonderful, um, and then I don't know um, if he wants to look into Nerve Renew as a, as a nutritional support supplement for that area. And again, um, I'm not allowed to really even recommend that. So I'm just saying if you want to look into it, you can. For someone who cannot stand due to a leg injury, how long would you recommend doing the sit and bounce as a workout? Okay, sit and <laughs> that's a tough one to answer because I don't really know your situation, but you can, you can uh, do repetitions of the sit and bounce. Um, you can do graduated movements of the sit and bounce. All of that is on our Mr. Rebounder app as well. Um, you can, I'll show you one. So that's, that's a, um, with one leg down and then you can alternate and use the other leg. Um, you can also do uh, more advanced movements. So all of these are, normally I would show you, but I kind of like showing <laughs> our, our Mr. Rebounder app. We're loving it. That's, it's been, it has been an incredible journey just to get to this point. But now that we're here at this point, we're looking forward to letting it just take off and soar. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. Does Dave eat animal products? Okay. You know, if I could, I've tried. I tried being just a vegetarian 43 years ago, a long time ago. And it didn't work well for me. I dropped, I didn't know, maybe I just didn't know what I was doing, but, um, I had to eat so much food and I still dropped so much weight that I ended up supplementing my diet after I went from 170 pounds down to 129 pounds. I said, I got to start eating again. So I started eating chicken fish. I don't eat beef or pork. Um, I haven't in 43 years, but I do eat, I eat chicken and, and fish and almost daily, but I try to supplement, you know, I eat the veggie trays and the, the salads and you know, today for lunch I had, my wife made me a kind of a, um, like a burrito type casserole thing with live foods and beans and, and potatoes. And, and I, I don't have a, a real strict diet that I follow. It's just more of what I don't eat. There are some things I stay away from. I try, I try not to eat a big meal late at night. Um, because I know the body can store it or burn it. And if you're not doing anything at night, it's just going to store it. So for those who want to lose weight easily or more easily, I'd suggest eating your big meals in the morning and your very light meals at, later at night. Can you demonstrate isometrics? Yeah, in our DVD, I do that. I, I demonstrate isometrics. But with cellar size, what's unique is that cellar size itself is an isometric just when you alter the angle of your body and you create leverage. So it's an isometric, and then you add weight through the balance it's an isometric for building muscle mass and bone density. So when I get on this cellar sizer and I just tilt backwards, all these muscles are tight. I mean, they're, they're gonna stay tight because I'm, it's got to fall over. <laughs> so that's an isometric the whole time that I start, I, I bounce. And so if I'm jogging in place at an angle, well, these muscles are tight the whole time isometric with an isotonic. If I kick my legs out, I leverage more weight. And again, that's here. I demonstrated, I think a, a week ago or a couple weeks ago on, on the arms, how to work the arms, how to work the back of the arms, how to work the chest, how to work the shoulders and upper back. Those are movements that you do while you're cellar sizing. It's harder because there's a lot of weight. We'll have a, a group of modules that we do specifically for isometrics um, as well so that you can add that to the routine on the Mr. Rebounder app. Okay, so now I want to tell you a story about um, that will help you understand a little bit more about my company, about me, about Jerry, and about those of us who, who work as part of our Cellar Size team. When I began Cellar Size, it was because of a personal health concern that I ended up having. and. For those of you who know, my, I had a wife who um, 
She was pregnant with our third child and I had an asbestos poisoning as well as the pesticide poisoning that wiped out the right side of my lymphatic system and probably both sides, but I could try to lift my arm up and everything was like a net, it all collapsed. And lymph nodes grew very large, um, skin color changed, I felt very sick, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. I really didn't think I'd be around much longer. And I did a lot of praying, a lot of soul searching. I believed if I could live long enough, my body had an incredible capacity. And it was in the, the process of that that I was guided and directed, I think, to a, a program that led me on my journey. And um, for two and a half years after I started bouncing up and down, I had large lesions coming out of my, my neck and my shoulders and my face, um, asbestos dust that was trying to get out of the body, um, large lymph nodes that were, you know, it, all, over, all over my body at the time. And over the course of several years, they subsided and went away. And, and my energy level soared, my physique changed. People began asking me what I was doing. Skin color got better. I, I don't know, I, the body has an enormous capacity. And I started sharing this with other people because they saw the changes in me. And then I was invited to speak before Rotaries and Lions and Quantas and Senior Citizen Centers all over Orange County, California. And, and into LA and different areas. And I did that for a few years and woke up one day saying, why am I selling insurance? And, and took it out on the road. I had a wife who was extremely supportive and she, um, with our kids, we, we homeschooled. Uh, we bought ourselves a, a, a Dodge van motorhome <laughs> thing, kept breaking, breaking down. But we would, we would go from show to show across the country teaching people and helping people with, with cellar size and what it had done in my life and the lives of so many other people. I knew it was real and I knew I had to get it out to the public. I just felt that calling, that need. And my wife was there and we would, we would <laughs> grab our displays and, and you know, our cellar size and we would, we would walk sometimes two miles. So we'd park our motorhome where we needed to and have to find a way to get into town to the, get the whole set up. And there's times where we would stay, we'd miss our, our flight. We'd have to stay overnight at a bus station. And I mean, these were, these were challenging times. Well, in, um, as, it, as I grew and I became, um, I guess, more, more desired, popular, uh, the message grew and I remember being in Arizona and I was doing a, a program. My wife came up to me and she says, I think I've got poor digestion elimination because she'd been hear, hear, hearing me talk about how important digestion elimination are, are for good health. And she told me her story. Now, we've been married 14 years. And she said um, she had a bowel movement maybe once a week and she grew up that way. And I never knew. She would just go in the bathroom. She says, I'm going to have my quiet time. I'm going to read a book and, or read, and I, okay. I didn't think to ask. And that's, you know, that taught me a lot. But one day she, um, she, she was limping and we didn't know why. So we took her to a chiropractor and he was doing adjustments. He said, yeah, I think she just needs to be adjusted here and here. And so we kept going back for several months, but it didn't get better. It just, her limp got worse and worse. Now, here's a lady, if you've seen Don't Exercise Cellar Size, the DVD it was done like 25 years ago. She's at the very end of it. That was my wife, Cindy. And she's showing women how to work on certain, certain areas of, of their body. And, um, but she had this enormous pain that, started to grow and her lymphic got worse. And so we kept going to different doctors trying to figure out what it was. And the last doctor we went to said, oh yeah, I've seen this before. It's probably a cracked, she's probably got a cracked uh, hip. And so we just need to get the weight off of her. I said, well, she's had this now for a year, year and a half. I don't think it's just a cracked hip. It should have healed. And they said, well, no, I, I well, it may be. And they didn't break. And, and they didn't see, they, they were just surmising it might be cracked. 
Well, I said, no, no more. Let's go get a CAT scan. So we went and we got a CAT scan. When we went in to see the doctor, um, he had to sit down and he took an x-ray and he put it up on, a, on the board and he said uh, that Cindy had an osteoblastic sarcoma and it had spread all throughout her hip and a fibrosarcoma, which was a soft tissue cancer, um, around the ilium area too. So she's got this enormous, evidently large, primary osteoblastic sarcoma. We were devastated. And because she looked like she was in such And we'll come back to the twisting, bouncing, moving up and down and why I designed that because she was the inspiration behind it. And I think it's the second most important thing that we can do on a solar size every day of our lives. But we went to several doctors. I was working with Dr. Morton Walker and, and uh, uh, Charlotte Gerson. And we went and, and took her to, to Mexico for some treatments because we didn't want to compromise her immune system. We wanted to build it. But we also realized that the t scales had tipped quite a way, so we had to also be more, a little more aggressive on the tumor itself. So we did a hypothermia, which we took her to Mexico, and that's where you'd, they take the blood out of the body and they put it through a filter and then they heat it up, and then they put it back in the body. Very miserable, but the objective is to, the cancer cells can't survive the heat. Very expensive, but I'm, we're going to do <laughs> whatever we could do. And we came back to the United States. She actually started to feel a little bit better but it just flared up again. And we uh, ended up going to a UCLA Extension Center to have, have a, um, a more localized radiation therapy on the tumor itself. And that, uh, I was there for two months with her and our kids. And during that two month, month period of time, I couldn't attend to the business the way that I wanted to because I was transporting my wife back and forth for treatments. And I did the best that I could, but I ended up giving my power of attorney to a company that I had known even before I was involved um, in seller size. I, I was an insurance agent and I thought these were people I could trust. And so I, they offered and I said, fine, I took my 800 number and I forwarded it to them. And I continued to do the best that I could while I was taking care of Cindy at the same time. And that was when I met Stevie Wonder, by the way. And Stephen Morris, Stevie, Stevie Wonder, you know him by. He invited me to his penthouse and, and I uh, taught him about cellar size and he gave me a, a private tour of his studio, which he's got beautiful inlaid wood and so he can work on the sound and the mixing too. He became an inspiration to me. He was a great, great Christian man, very supportive, knew what I was going through. And um, I really appreciated that time. Uh, it was very difficult. But unbeknownst to me, while I was caring for my wife, the company that was supposed to be taking care of me, my, my assets were taking or taken my assets. They had taken the, uh, the business and refiled it under different names, taking along with it my trademarks and my patents. They had, it's called masking. It's like slamming. I didn't understand these terms at the time, but they took my 800 number, which I had forwarded it to them, and they tr gave it to another carrier. And then from that carrier, they transferred it to yet another carrier, trying to get it further away from my being able to ever get it back, I guess. Um, then they took my my inventory, which was in Orem, Utah, and they took it out of Orem, Utah, took it to Reno on the auspices so that they could keep a better eye on it. Uh, they went after, um, they had access to my bank accounts anyway, and they tried to go after my merchant account as well, but that, the security on that is a little harder. So I'm there with my wife, thinking that they're taking care of, of the business. And I go back home with my wife, and I'm treating and taking care of her. And I told him, I said, okay, it's time to transfer the 800 number back to my office so I can work with the doctors, health practitioners, and my, my customer base. 
no, no, you, you don't need to do that. They said, you, you, can, you just need to stay with your wife. And we've got it covered. It's, it's okay. Well, I felt a little uncomfortable about that because I did need to reach out and I was concerned about our, our customers. And a week went by, two weeks went by. On the third week, I got pretty upset with them. I said, no, I need it transferred back to me now. At which point I get a letter. And the letter was dismissing me from my company. And here they knew I had a wife, very, very ill. I had, they had everything. They had the assets. They had the, my company. Um, and I, I didn't ask, I, I mean, the, the, what could I do? I, I had already spent everything that I could to take care of my wife. So I had neighbors and friends bringing us some meals. Um, I talked to a neighbor who said, um, oh, the irony of it all, a little over a week later, I get a letter from them offering me a job to work for them and their company, which I didn't accept. Our neighbor um, told me to go talk to the bank about getting a loan. And I said, I don't have, any, I don't have anything for collateral for a loan. He said, go, go tell them your story anyway. Go tell them what you do. I didn't know he sat on the board of the bank. But I went, and I, I, I went to the bank and I, I gave a demonstration. I explained it all to them. And they looked at me and they said, if you can get um, some invoices for sales, sales receipts of sales, and bring those receipts, we'll give you a loan against them. Well, I was going to be speaking before a large group, but I didn't have any product to sell. But it was a, a modern man of health and healing crusade with uh, Dr. Hans Deal, Dr. John McDougall, Dr. Richard Schultz, um, Charlotte, Gersh or Charlotte Gershon, and uh, Dr. Lorraine Day. And these are real doctors, and I was privileged and honored to be able to share the stage with them. And when I, when I went, and I did the demonstration, I did the educating, um, I, I worked with the people. My son and I, my son was my daughter's age, he was 14. He and I um, would go out and we would take units that had not passed um, quality control standards and we rebuilt them and painted them and, and cleaned them up so that we could sell them to put food on the table and, and just keep things going as best as we could. And I'll always be grateful for my son for getting out there and, and helping me do that. Proud of him. But we, um, I went to Lodi and I, I did my demonstration and we sold about 217 cellar sizers. And I went back home. And before I went back home, I sat down at a table with Dr. Lorraine Day just an amazing woman and she a, a woman of great integrity very very spiritual and strong strong in fact she had cancer she wasn't expected to live she followed a protocol which she believes is god's program and and it uh the doctors wrote her all off they'd wrote it, written her off but she turned it around and the one thing she told me she said don't ever let them admit her into a hospital they'll kill her Basically, was what they said. That's exactly. Well, I was there in Lodi, some well-meaning family members, without consulting with our doctors, brought a doctor from another state, admitted her into a hospital, gave her enough morphine. Um, probably could have killed a horse because I get a phone call from her while I'm there, just finishing up my lecture, and. She's telling me that she's in the hospital and what's been going on. And I said, I'll get the first plane out of here. I'm on my way back. I got back. Um, I got her checked out of the hospital, brought her back home. She had been, the drugs had caused her body just balloon up with lymphedema. Um, her system wasn't working. She wasn't ready to go. She still wanted to fight. And so I hired a nurse 24-7 to be there to help move the lymph system through. It was very difficult, but um, we did that. And I, 
of the two, I, I immediately got home and I had all the receipts. I went to the bank and I shared the receipts with the bank. They gave me a deposit so that I could get more inventory ordered. I got more inventory ordered. Um, it came. Well, it took, it took a couple months. My wife, she, uh, she ended up passing away. And at that time, where it was pretty dark, a dark time of my life, I wrote a one-page letter to everyone who had bought a cellar sizer. And I told them I did not have the cellar sizers available right now. And I told them why. In a one-page letter, I said, if you want your money back and you want to cancel, I understand. Otherwise, it's going to take about a month and a half for me to be able to get a cellar sizer to you. Out of those 217, 219 people, we had seven cancellations. And you were there for me. And that meant the world to me. So I'm there for you. And this is one big family. And you're not alone. And if there's anything that I can do to help support you, that's important. Um, when I offended somebody last week, I felt really bad about it. And there were people that said, David, you've got 80,000 customers to work with. People that are part of your solar size family. It's just one person. Yeah, well, I'm wired differently because I'll leave the 80,000 as long as I know they're okay and I'll go, find, I'll go help that one person. Because if I've done something wrong, I want to do the best that I can to make it right. And sometimes you can't always. But I want to read you a couple of things that, um, that I think are very helpful um, for me. And they're part of my little success journal that I created for myself. But it goes like this. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them, something valuable in them. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievement of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. I like that. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Something I'm still working on, but a good reminder. To finish the story, though, um, I ended up getting the cellar sizers. We, um, I started selling the cellar sizers again and, and doing my the various different events, and and then I hired an attorney because I didn't have my trademarks and my patents in my name. And the attorney, we went after the people who had perpetrated this. And within a year, the the I guess the figurehead, the one person who was spearheading this, he died. We don't know, I don't know how, but he died. And the others, and I don't, I'll, I probably will never know why they did this, but the others um, said they didn't want to fight anymore. They didn't have any more inventory, of course. They didn't have any more money. The funds are all gone. But they would go ahead and give me back all our trademarks, patents, and the ability to continue to, to build the business. And Tom said, are you willing to do that? And I asked him, well, Tom, what would you do? And he said, David, you've been through enough. He says, you have everything you need and they can't take away from you who you are. You can go on and you can build it again. These guys are crooks. That's what Tom told me. He said, these guys are crooks. Even if you win, you may never ever get anything from it. That was and I learned in that process, 
you can't hold on if you want to move on. You got to let go. And there's those of us who have issues, the bitterness with people, with events, with conditions, with things that are around us. If you hold on to it, it just cankers you. It really does. You got to move on. Be bigger than it. Take the high road. Pray for them um, because they have a lot to learn. But uh, you yourself can move forward. So with that, you've heard this. This is great, but it's worth saying or repeating. This is Mother Teresa. And she says, People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. When you spend years cre- what you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten. Do good anyway. Give the best you have, and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. In the final analysis, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. I love that. And, you know, I, you've heard, this is Dave Hall now, you've heard me say, it's not so important what we achieve in this world as it is in who we become in the process what we achieve, we're going to leave behind. But who we become, we're going to take that with us. So focus on the person you want to become. See yourself happy, healthy, strong. Create the vision. Hold on to the vision. Sell our size to strengthen the vision. And it'll grow as a desire within you. Thanks for being a part of the Sell Size family. Thank you for sharing your time with me tonight. I look forward to our, our next meeting. We'll do some more demonstrations. Remember, with solar size, why work out when you can play in? Thank you.